The final trailer for Jurassic World Dominion has just come out recently, and with it has come many reveals of new characters, new dinosaurs, and much of the plot. And one of the biggest things that hasn't been talked about, really, is the reveal of Omar Sy's Barry, who was briefly shown facing off against some of the Atrociraptors, or even working with them. That's right, today's video is a big one, guys, because I've been waiting to do this for quite a while. Today, I'm going to be discussing a theory that I've had with Omar Sy's Barry and his involvement with the Atroc Raptors, and why I think that he may be revealed to be the alpha of this new Raptor Squad from Biosyn. Hey guys, how you all doing today? Hope you're having a fantastic day as the Jurassic World Dominion trailer has finally come out, the second one that is, and possibly the final one. And with it, many things were coming, a lot of moments that blew our minds, but one of the biggest ones that I think nobody seemed to notice, apart from the gaming beaver, was the reveal of Omar Sy's Barry, who we've only seen in one Empire magazine image from back in 2020 where it was revealed that he was in Malta. Now, at this time, we still don't know his involvement in Malta, other than he will be there. Now, what's important for this video is what could be the answer, and that is that he may be revealed to no longer be a protagonist, but actually an antagonist to our heroes. And the reason I say this is because of the scene that we saw in the trailer, and a personal theory of mine that I've held for quite a while. Now, if you guys recall a few months ago, I did my theory on the Indoraptor Atrociraptor combination theory. If you haven't checked that out, please do. But in that video, one thing that I sort of teased that I would discuss was the reveal of Barry being a antagonist. Now, I didn't really go into it that much, but I was hinting at the fact that maybe these Atrociraptors, since they are confirmed to basically be the Biosyn equivalent of the Raptor Squad from Jurassic World, it stands to reason they would need an Alpha, and I have theorized that that would be Barry, because other than Owen Grady, the only person to have experience with training Raptors was in fact Barry in Jurassic World. In fact, the interesting thing to notice from Jurassic World was the fact that unlike Owen's attachment to the calmest of the raptors, Blue, and I say calm very lightly, but Barry actually seemed to have a deeper relationship with Delta, the most aggressive of the raptors in my opinion. And in fact, this is really interesting to explain why he was chosen to work with these savage robbers, as their name stands for. But Today, I'm going to be explaining first what do I think happened to Omar Sy's Barry after Jurassic World, because unlike Owen, who we see is clearly fine after the events of Jurassic World, being able to build his own cabin with his own money and seeming to have no trouble, we never learned what happened to Barry. After all, he was also an ex-military guy, so we were wondering where he'd be. And in fact, we were originally supposed to see him in Fallen Kingdom, but he was unfortunately cut from the film. But today, I'm going to be discussing what I think could have happened, and the real-life events that may have inspired this plot. Now, if we look at Kayla Watts, the second new character that we got, played by the amazing DeWanda Wise, it has been revealed that she is not only a former pilot in the military, being an ex-military like Owen and Barry, she is also running the black market operations in Malta. But what's interesting about this is we've seen her character turn. Now, we don't know how big of an antagonist she will be. We see her at the end of the movie probably going to be one of the good characters, but this raises a lot of questions for Barry. Did he have similar situation as Kayla having to be forced into a darker path? Or what really happened to him? Well, if we go back to 2020 when COVID ha started happening, one of the biggest things Colin Trevorrow talked about in interviews was that he took inspiration from events during the pandemic. One of the biggest was the Black Lives Matter movement and how it finally got people talking about the events of black people in all over the world. Now, we don't know if this is going to be implemented in the movie, but if if Barry is going to be revealed as a more antagonistic character, it stands to reason that it will be revealed that unlike Owen, who was able to basically walk, walk away scot-free and build his own cabin for God's sake, which 
was expensive probably, it'll probably be revealed that Barry was not as fortunate and would paint a dark picture on why he would take this role. Because while in Jurassic World he was a good guy, it stands to reason that if he had nothing, nowhere to go, nothing to do, it seems to me that when he was offered an opportunity by Biosyn to raise these new raptors for the squad, it seems to me that he probably had no choice but to take it or have no future. And this would po point him as one of the tragic villains in this story, which we haven't really seen in the movies, but this raises a lot of questions because in the trailer we see that he is not really in the safest situation as the gates for the Atrociraptors enclosures seem to open up and everybody around them gets scared, including Barry. So what does this mean for his character afterwards? I don't know, but I still think that he may be revealed to be the quote unquote alpha of the Raptor Squad. After all, he has the most experience with Raptors apart from Owen Grady, and since Owen would definitely not betray Blue for these new savage thieves, it stands to reason they went to Barry for this. But who knows what's going to happen to his character after this, that's a whole nother topic. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be revealed that Barry suffered a tragedy and now has to be the alpha of the Atrociraptor squad? Or do you think that there's going to be someone else in charge of these new Raptor squad members? Whatever your own thoughts are, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video guys, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as I want to do more theory videos for the future of this channel, for Dominion, and also Camp Cretaceous, and much more in the future to come. But, until next time guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye